Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, I want to talk about a little interesting story. It's uh, more of a micro uh, economic news. It's not too big, but uh, Tesla uh, not too long ago surpassed all other car companies in terms of market cap, which I find very interesting because Tesla gets a lot, a lot, a lot of heat because um, being highly leveraged and not not having uh i wouldn't say adequate resources but a lot of a lot of what elon musk is trying to do you know he's trying to basically disrupt multiple industries i mean dude makes electric cars trying to enter or disrupt that industry sends rockets into space with spacex so trying to privatize uh uh space uh travel along with uh jeff bezos and uh richard branson um a lot with the solar industry trying to make alternative energy you know, so this is a very active guy that's got his money in uh, big, uh, big businesses, but all of them in which he's basically trying to go against, you know, the major, the competition, you know, and uh, he gets a lot of flack for it. You know, the, the, the Teslas, they, they get good reviews overall, I've noticed, and I live like in the Bay Area, so I mean, I see them on the road everywhere. I talk to people that drive Tesla. I mean, they love their cars. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't come across many people that say they hate the car that they drive, especially because it's an expensive investment. If you get like the Model S or the, the Model X, you know, it's like a ninety thousand, hundred thousand. But um, you know, I find it interesting though that this company continues to fight against uh, like the mainstream way of doing things, especially the mainstream way of how people think. You know, the one of the biggest things, you know, Tesla wants to do with their cars is keep pushing the, the distance on those batteries, you know, like 200, 300 miles, 400 miles, you know, just keep going and going. And uh, with the Model 3 coming out, which I'm going to keep it real, I'm interested in because uh, it's basically the more economic or feasible, feasibly economic version of uh, an automobile that Tesla creates because it's affordable. It's supposed to come in around a $35,000 price range. And obviously that can change be different you know it's probably upgrade packages premium packages so on and so forth but thirty five thousand dollars for in my opinion a pretty sweet looking car you know that's already had uh previous models kind of paved the way you know kind of got like a lot of like the kinks and bugs out you know because they had what the little i believe the little roadster which isn't as popular the model s which was really popular and that's the most of what i see uh model t which is like the suv with the falcon doors and then, you know, Model 3 coming out next. You know, I'm waiting for the, the Tesla truck because that shit's going to be a beast. But uh, <laughs> that's I don't think that's even in the works yet. I don't know. But um, the fact that Tesla is just, just, I mean, like I said, despite the negativity, you know, people give this a lo this, this, this company a lot of slack. It's been on a tear since uh, pretty much right after the election uh, results came in. It's been going up. Now, there was... Uh, some news because Elon Musk was uh, making trips to the White House um, with a, a lot of CEOs were at that time, you know, pharma companies, banks, um, you know, uh, defense companies, stuff like that. But he was there was like talk about him being like a special advisor or something. I, I didn't I didn't follow too much on that story. I ain't gonna lie. But I think that kind of added to this uh, this little rally that he's getting because you can see it came down from 181. and It's been all the way up now. I wouldn't buy it at this this all time high here because like I said, three hundred dollars. I'd wait for a pullback, um, maybe around like two eighty range if it could come back down to this level, maybe even a little lower. But um, if you're long term Tesla, I mean, yeah, think you know whether you're a more practical person like you drive a, a gas car, you drive a diesel car, whatever. At some point, electric's gonna take over. It's just it's cheaper overall for you to run because you can just plug that sh that car into at your house, you know, like you can just run off your regular electricity, you know, rather than filling up at a gas gas station where prices fluctuate constantly and they usually continue to go up. Where I'm at right now, you know, three bucks is the average, but um, you know, you gotta think long term of where of where that's where it's gonna be now. If you don't think that's gonna happen, which is totally okay, you know, at some point. All these electric cars, like the the Honda, the electric cars that Honda makes, Toyota makes, uh, BMW makes, um, you know, and a few others that just aren't populating in my head right now. 
um, at some point those are gonna be more mainstream so Tesla's on more of the cutting edge in terms of like style battery power and stuff like that you know the I believe that I don't know if they have the Gigafactory built yet uh, out in uh, Nevada but um, I know there's big talk about that for a while um, a lot of that you know is just continuing continuing the line you know i think the battery is really the important sales point because the when it comes to bare bones you look at the car it's a car you know it's 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 a mold it's a cage you know it's 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 um like looks you know it's 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 the outer it's the outer shell you know like any any car company can make a, a good looking car on the outside it's really it's really with electric cars is how that battery is and usually you want to go the most bank get the most bang for your buck now hybrids in a sense being more cost effective and better on gas and distance um but tesla just being all electric is like more towards the future and and, and, and how cars are going to eventually be run now this could be more towards the coastal cities first like, like i said i'm in california so it's a lot bigger over here um typically like you'll see on coastal cities a little more progressive with how they they do alternative energy and systems uh, middle america doesn't seem to be on that on that end um it's usually more like i like i've been to like a few other states and the only, only time i see uh electric cars and stuff like that is usually on the coastal states that's just my personal experience you know but like at some point you know all that's going to work inward and it's going to take time you know it's not going to be overnight it's not going to be in a year it's not going to be in five years you know but the more we move towards autonomous cars the more we move towards uh hybrid cars electric cars gas saving cars you know the more solar panels get cheaper and you know, Tesla can put solar panels on their roofs and it can help keep the battery charged while you're driving. You know, there's there's so many avenues as a consumer that could uh, save you money or keep money in your pocket, I should say. And that's ultimately what, what Elon Musk in certain ways is trying to do with the cars as well as change the mindset of what what we think of a, a, is a car, you know, like how how it performs, you know. Like, I'd love to, like, blow by gas station after gas station in my electric car until I get all the way home and then just plug it in and just, you know, save money that way. But, you know, like, everybody has uh, different perspectives on that. But as far as investing in this company, though, like I said, it's it's a good opportunity. And, and if you buy into it, you know, be prepared to, like, have to defend the stock to people because they're going to they're gonna have varying opinions. You know, like I said, if you're on the coastal states, you know, if you're in, like, California area or any of the surrounding west coast states you know people are going to probably be interested in tesla you know because there's a lot of them on the road if you go into other states middle america states maybe even east coast states you won't see them as much you know they'll probably be opposed to it so it's kind of depending on your perspective but i i ultimately see tesla's continue to lead the way um as long as they put as much money as they can into their battery service uh or batteries uh they could uh continue to kind of lead the way now like I said in the beginning, though, this is, you know, a leveraged company, you know, as long as people continue to invest uh, in his products, you know, as long as he can retain those investors, as long as he can continue to incite, excite new investors, as long as he can continue to get, uh, gather enough people for the, like, the exposés and the uh, unveilings of new products and stuff like that, as long as he can continue all that, you know, this, this company continue to grow. But a lot of that, you know, is presentation, it's his sales pitch, it's his... It's his demeanor when he's on stage, you know, talking about this product. It's it's the future of what he's talking about and how he's how he's uh, uh, getting people's attention and retaining like long time people because you know a lot of these cars, you know, you're gonna you're gonna buy them before or you're gonna put down a big down payment on it before they come out and you might wait a, uh, like a year or more, and that down payment is just gonna basically hold your place. And when that car comes out, then you pay off the rest. So a lot of that also goes into factor of, of what this market cap is worth and how much money the company has because a lot of it's just people waiting to get their car, you know? It's not just like post-sales. So the more and more I look at it, the more and more like I'm interested in it. Um, but like I said, I'm, I, I'd am i wait for a much lower uh, price uh, point to get into because it's at all-time highs. And if you look at where it's been on this uh, five-year chart, it's been going pretty well sideways since 2014 it looks like just in this area just like up down up down up down up down and it's just finally broken out you know just earlier uh a few months ago you know just last year now that doesn't mean you missed a rally or anything but definitely this this pullback right here 
uh, in March would have been a good point to get in. But like I said, it's it's back on a run up. So, you know, you want to ease back on it if you're interested in it. Now, all that being said, I personally don't know if I'm going to invest in Tesla in the near future only because, you know, I want to see a good pullback. But if I could, if I, if my loyal three service, uh, transfers into this, uh, Folio first uh, service, which is going to be happening uh, sometimes next month, and Tesla is an option, um, and it does come down a good price. I'll definitely be interested in getting it. But for right now, like I'm, I'm easing back. I'm just watching it. But the fact that that market cap or it surpassed market cap of other automakers, I thought was very interesting. You know, compar comparatively, Tesla being like new compared to like Ford that's been around a century. You know, and now Tesla is worth more than Ford, which is which is crazy. But um, just it just goes to show you, just like innovation, and where it could be anywhere in car companies, especially. But the the market value, the 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 market cap increasing. Um, I mean, if you look at like the fifty two week here, you could look at uh where it was at at one seventy eight all the way to three fourteen, just in a one year period, just pretty much doubling, which is or a little a little, a little less than doubling. But this it's just had such a good run up. But um. I just kind of wanted to highlight that because I know people look for alternative uh, investments other than what I, what, what I just invested in. And I want to look into more avenues to kind of give people an idea of what else they could be going into. I typically stick towards uh, like tech companies, innovation companies, because I look for high growth. That's my, uh, what I really look for. I notice more and more since like the recession, uh, people used to always look into kind of like for like safe companies like... Uh, Clorox and GE and companies like that, but they all kind of like had the the failings of 2008. So people like are are really anxious to get aggressive growth to kind of to kind of put back what they lost to kind of get out of that that rut, but also to to grow more into the future. You know, innovation is always going to excite people. You know, it's always going to be interesting, especially when it comes to invest investing, which is a a, a, a speculative game. You know, you. We, we all make bets on how we think companies are going to do and, and how they're going to perform. But I think Tesla is going to continue to be a leader. And Elon Musk, like I said, that's a cool dude, man. Anybody who shoots rockets into space is a is an interesting guy. <laughs> I'll say that for, for at least, you know. But um, I think if you all wanted to get into this, like I said, you should wait for a pullback. I would I would wait till around 280 till it kind of comes back to this little level because it kind of goes, goes in, uh, in line with these uh, previous highs over here. But um, you all, you all, you know, you make your decisions yourself, you know, and you all follow up on other videos and uh, see what Tesla is getting in the news because lately it's just, it seems like it's been getting more and more attention. So I thought I'd just do my little two cents on it to, uh, to see if that helps anybody, you know, want to get involved in it or if, or if you're not interested in it and this just kind of reaffirms that, you know, that's fine too, you know, always, always do what's best for you in the end. That's the most important thing. But um, with that, I'm just going to end the video. I do want to say again, still watching this channel, continuing to grow is like one of the best things, you know, going on for me right now. I definitely do enjoy it and all the support and all the great comments and, you know, everything, all the suggestions and questions, you know. So thank you all for that again. And as always, like I said, if you have any more questions, by all means, like I'll do my best to answer them. And if you like, like and uh, subscribe to my channel, let's keep it growing. So enjoy the rest of your night, everybody.